Hello, Relics of Hyrule Video Guy video. Uh, this one uh, is the hook shot, as you can read on the video sh video title thing. Um, and the hook shot is in the Falkreath Secret Grotto. Here's the trap door for it. There's the golden fox up there. There's the fairy. And the Falkreath Secret Grotto is very close to Pine Watch. There's Pine Watch. It's south of Pine Watch. In fact, it's so close to Pine Watch that you can see Pine Watch from the Secret Grotto if you go up this way. Let's see if I can... Come on. My game is really laggy. There it is. Okay. There's Pine Watch. Uh, so if you can find Pine Watch, you're, you're golden. The trees are really loud. Um, it's also near Peak Shade's ta Peak Shade Tower. Uh, it's east of Fall Creek, east of Peak Shade Tower. Um, there's Riverwood, there's Helgen, and if I remember correctly, this area is about where uh, Lakeview Manor is, so if you have Lakeview Manor you can find it. Pretty easily just walk to uh, Fall Creek and go off the road a little. I really need to replace my sound mod. Or just uninstall it completely, because I'm getting sick of it. Uh, right. Also, I got a new monitor, so this video will be in a higher resolution than normal, which also cuts on my performance. Um, I may have to work on that. Anyway, so Falkreath Secret Grotto is marked by a pink fairy, and there's these guys next to it. These are Deku Nuts. You get the Deku Nuts. More on that in the Deku Nut video. Um, right. Okay, as soon as you enter Falkreath Secret Grotto, you have two options. You can go that way, or you can go uh, that way. You can turn around and go that way. If you go that way, then uh, you'll find some Deku Nuts. You'll find some more Deku Nuts. You'll find some water. Just keep on going. And then, oh, there's a Gold Skulltula. Thanks for coming out. Good old Skull Skulltula. And here's a Tarnished Shard. Um, where's the chest? What the heck? That is weird. Okay, well normally there's a strong box right there with a Tarnished Shard in it. Weird. That's never happened. Usually it's just the enemies that don't spawn. Whatever. Whatever. That's new. Skyrim's never done that to me before. Okay. The other way is this way. And there's an Iron Knuckle. Hey, Iron Knuckle, how's it going? Um, I have AI turned off, so he's not going to attack me. Uh, behind him is... Now, this one actually is here. I don't know why the other one isn't. Uh, Charred Fragment. So, Falkreath Secret Grotto is a unique in that it has two uh, fragments and shards and stuff. Uh, as of 6.4, you can do this. Yeah, when you take the fragment, fairy's gone, which is pretty cool. Also, here's a suspicious looking door. You can just open it, but there's also a lever, in case you were curious. Yeah, if you want to open it with a leather, le a leather lever, you can. If you don't want to, then you don't have to. And you can mine the Armos. This is one of the mineable Armos. It'll give you my it will give you Armos ore, which is what Armos are made of. Okay. <laughs> so when you pass through the not so secret secret door, you'll find this lovely area, and you'll hear some buzzing. So let's follow the buzzing. I hope you have water breathing or something, because you need to swim. Now this one also opens. There's no switch. There's some skeletons bones. There's a dead end. These are like crypts or something. You actually don't need water breathing as long as you get through this fast enough. Water. And once you get here, here's a dark interloper. And once you pass in, then the, the, the grate will close, just like in Zelda. Um, so yeah, dark interloper. Uh, get a good look at him. His eyes are all funky. Um, he carries... Uh, well, he's a normal dark interloper, so he'll be wearing dark 
armor, so he's wearing glass right now. He's carrying a Twilight Mace, Twilight Morningstar. And he's guarding this chest, which has been ransacked. Um, there's a scroll of frenzy, there's a leveled weapon, there are bombs, there are rupees, uh, there's another sword, there's a sword, and uh, there's some a potion or a poison. There's some armos that are not mineable. Um, however, if you have a pickaxe, How about that one? Oh, triple zero. If you have a pickaxe, let's see if this works. Oh, there's an arm bomb. Okay, that ore vein is com depleted. Uh, so, this one, you can mine Armos by swinging pickaxes at them, but they'll usually be depleted. Yeah. All right, and the chest is empty, so don't worry about that. The thing that you came for is the Dark Interloper. Um, now, I'm level one. This character is level one. Yeah, he's level one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, there we go. <laughs> Dark Interlopers are unique. He is carrying the hookshot. And the hookshot is a staff. By default, when you equip it, it doesn't have the hook. Um, but more on that later. Right. Now that you have the hookshot, you can use it. Uh, here's what it does. <laughs> so it's just like a normal staff. Uh, you charge it up, and it fires a hook. Now, it doesn't look the greatest at all but this is the best that I could do I think the model is really good this hookshot model is really good and it does work um, see it it hits it's a little tough to aim because it hits slightly above your crosshair but, here's what it does. Let's see if I can find a... Uh, yeah, let's get a... Let's get a Reekling in here. Alright, Reekling. Whoop! So, when you hit something with the hookshot, when you hit an enemy with the hookshot, they'll get pulled to you. Or at the very least, stunned. Whoop. He got knocked away from me for some reason. Usually they, yeah, it depends on how you hit them. If you hit them really well, then they'll get pulled to you really nicely. So the hook shot is really good to use with another weapon. So you can pull people to you and clobber them. Yeah. Clobber. Clobber. Or completely dodge them. Nice! Oh. Hey. Oh. Where'd he go? There he is. There he goes. Okay. So that's the hook shot. <laughs> it's a little finicky, it's a little clunky, it looks a little funny when it fires. Um, it's because it's a staff. So, you can see where, where it fired from. Whoops. Let's try this again. It's, uh, I did my best. It's actually firing from about there where the, where the, uh, where the crosshair is. Um, I think the chain and hook look really, really good. Um, but it's just a limitation of the game. It works. It's fully functional. It looks really good in the hand. It's just when you fire it, it looks kind of weird. Uh, now, by default, the hook shot has no hook in it when you, um, get it but if you bring it whoops nope 
if you bring it to an alteration table at the Midden or Palestone camp, uh, this is new to 6.4. This is the ROH debug uh, cell. Uh, you can go here for all your debug needs. There's the debug chest and the new debug chests, uh, new to 6.4. Uh, and here's an alteration table, so I'm just going to use this one. Um, with the hook shot, you can change it from without a hook to having a hook, if you prefer. Um, makes it look a little different. Um, but people requested this, so I obliged. I don't think it looks the greatest, but it looks complete. I really wish um, the hookshot has been hell to get into this game. Um, it was one of the most, it was the most requested item for Relics of Hyrule by far, and people had different ideas about how I could implement it, um, and really <laughs> they didn't know how Skyrim is. Um, I wanted it to be versatile, I didn't want it to be like a crossbow, I didn't want it to be I wanted it to be what it is, and unfortunately, just because of the animations, there's only so much I can do with it. Um, that's why I offered this alternative. If you don't want it to be a, a, a staff, you can have it just be a normal swinging weapon. It's like a little uh, little dagger, a little mace dagger, a little choppy hatchet. Uh, very quick, uh, very effective. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, there's a lots of different op options for the hook shot. Um, it looks nice on your belt there. Um, normally, it's a staff. You can use it to uh, fire a hook that'll pull enemies to you. Um, or you can repurpose it into a, a little hatchet. I think it looks really good. Um, the the same guy who made Wind Waker, the same guy who made the Wind Waker, donated the hookshot, um, and he did a really good job um, with the model. And I really like how it turned out. Um, Skyrim just has limitation so the hookshot isn't going to be perfect nothing in this mod is going to be perfect but i'm just happy that i managed to get something that um moderately resembles the hookshot into the game i do have plans to add the claw shot um a little later um but currently that's a work in progress so thank you very much for watching the hookshot video um this is relics of hyrule and I hope you enjoy my silly little mod. <laughs>